everyone. So today we're still going to be thinking about capacity. So can anyone remember what that word means, capacity? Yeah, so how much something holds. So if it is full or if it is empty, just how much something holds. That's what we call it. It's the term called capacity. Can you say that word? Capacity. Well done. So today, what we're going to do is I want you to go and find five things. Okay, it could be bowls, it could be measuring jugs, it could be pots, pans, tubs, anything you want. Okay, and your grown-ups are going to help you to make a table. So on this side of the table it says what? So what is it? So I've got a tall flute, a bowl, a glass dipping bowl, a plastic tub and a measuring jug. Okay, now this side of my table said how many cups? So what we're going to do today is measure each of these containers by how many cups they hold. So this is my cup that I'm going to be using. You must keep this the same each time. Okay, when you're doing an investigation, you can't change things. All right, so keep this the same. Now I've got my juice again. If you want to use water, that's fine, but juice, because it's coloured, might just help you to see a little bit better. So, let's see. So first of all, I might start with this one. Now just be careful in case you make a bit of a mess. So let's see how much this holds. Wow. So it's full to the top, but I've still got some left in my cup. So I can't write that it's filled one cup because it hasn't even used that. So what I'm going to do is write on my table that it's used half a cup. Half. Okay. Half of a cup. Now I'm going to choose something else. Okay, so I'm going to make sure my cup is filled to the top. And I am going to use the red ball now. How many cups do we think will take to fill this red ball? What do you think? I'm going to guess two. Okay, so it's got nothing in. There's one, there's still some space. So I'm going to put another one in. There's two, but there's still some space. There's three, but there is still some space. Wow, that's it full to the top and it has taken four cups. So on my table next to the ball, I'm going to write four. Then what I want you to do is have a look. Can you spot any of the containers that might hold less than four cups? Which one do you think would hold less? And how do you know? Yeah, this one might because there is not as much space, is there? Should we try it? Okay, here's my cup. Ooh, right, that's full to the top. Has it taken one full cup? No, it hasn't because I've still got some left, haven't I? So again, I think for that one, I'm going to write that it's only taken half a cup to fill that one. Now I might say to you, find me something that will hold more than the red ball. So something that will hold more than four cups. Can you 
find something in your house, maybe in your kitchen, that would hold more than four cups. So once you've completed all of your things that you've chosen, fill in your table for me so that I can see how many cups your items hold. Now I want you to be able to tell me something that holds more and something that holds less. Good luck everyone, have fun and be careful not to spill as much as Miss Black. I'm going to have to go and tidy it all up now.